Hello, it's Neon Black Games here with another Clash of Clans YouTube video. And today, this is the second episode in how to attack in Clash of Clans. And a couple of you guys requested for me to do a video on how to attack with dragons. And so here we go. Here is my way of attacking with dragons. So first of all, as you see, this base isn't the best base, but it's still, meh, it's pretty good. So let's see, I'm going to do it only at times one speed so I can explain each part. So, first of all, uh, let's see, come on, attack. Let's go. There we go. So, first of all, put two dragons on the outer sides of where you want to attack. So, I want to attack, first of all, where do you want to attack? Well, you do not, do not attack on this top part here because you'll get one air defense only and there'll be two air defenses available here. Do not attack from the top because you won't get any air defenses, so that would be a 1 to 2 star. From the bottom, that would be a 0 to 1 to 2 star. But from here, attack where you can get both of the side air defenses, and the last one should go down too. So as you see, I'm going to aim for these two air defenses, kind of in the middle, so right where this clan castle is right here. For, so the way you do it is you attack from kind of the out structures, outer structures here. And they should clean up the outer structures to funnel your dragons towards the middle. So whenever I say funnel, I mean get them concentrated closely so they can all get in that one spell and do mass damage. So you see, you do not let these dragons die on the outside, but let them take a little bit of their time. See, that one's going towards the outside, that one's cleaning out those buildings. So now they have a pretty clean path. So now you drop, now, so you don't let them die, start dropping your dragons closer into the middle, as you see here. Now they will not go towards the outside, which is a big problem with attacks. So, as you see, now I'm going to drop a couple more in there. So now I have five dragons left. And as you notice, there's a clan castle troops. So if they have wizards, any clan castle troops, besides like a Valkyrie, they should pretty much get destroyed because of dragon splash damage, but the skeletons are a little bit at pesky. But as you see here, I'm going to drop more of my dragons, a couple on this side and a couple near the gold mine and a couple near the cannon, because they take those cannons out and they start funneling in towards the archer tower and the elixir storage, right towards the middle. And... All my dragons are down, and as you see, they're kind of in a line, but you're going to notice they start to funnel in. So there goes the rage spell, and there go my balloons. So I'm dropping in my rage spell. It's not early in the raid, it's just, it's good, but the, it's pretty good, because first of all, I need to take out that witch quickly, um, and those skeletons. And also, that rage spell will not only get those dragons, it will also get the balloons, because they're very slow. As you see, lots and lots and lots of dragons are covered. And these balloons, and uh, there we go. Also, drop your king... Um, not too late in the raid, because then I'll go towards the outside, but not too early where he will just do nothing. You want to kind of go to the middle. So let's see, as you see here, it's kind of just a big mush pot. I dropped the, uh, heal spell, because they're starting to get attacked by the air defenses. And there, as you see, the raid should, uh, get the, let's see, yeah, should get the, um, dragons. And then I'm going to drop one more rage, and I think the rage, let me just fast forward a little bit. As you see here, the... I've already taken down this one air defense. I have plenty of troops left. I have like mm, six, seven dragons left. And all my balloons up and my king at full health. So let's see here. So I think I'm going to drop my last rage where my balloons are. But let's see. I wonder if this dragon takes out that last air defense. Oh yeah, the dragons. So now there's one air defense left. As you see, here's the rage spell. This is kind of an interesting idea. Normally you place a rage spell on the town hall where the dragon is. But in this case, since I've done a lot of adapt dragon attacks and very experienced, I'm actually going to rage up these balloons. And those balloons are going to take out the last air defense. That's why you want max loons. Always take max loons or balloons in your clan castle. Always, 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 always for this reason. As you see, they take out tons of defenses. And now, these are super annoying skeletons. So I've taken out all the air defenses. So pretty much once you've taken out all the air defenses, it's an automatic 3-star if you have dragons left. So as you see here, the skeletons are kind of pesky. So I'm going to rage my king really soon to take out his enemy king and uh, skeletons. There we go. Now that dragon's going to come help out. So now the rest of this raid, I don't really need any explaining because I don't place any more troops down. And as you see, it actually gets very close to not getting that extra three stars. So let's just see how this raid unfolds. Looks pretty easy, and then the air bind comes out. Ooh, that's pretty close. But as you still see, I three-starred that base. And I'm going to watch that replay one more time at normal speed and explain it. One more time, just in case you guys did not catch that. So I'm just going to kind of... I guess summarize it this time at normal speed. So let's speed up till we get to there we go. So the drop the dragons here. Point number one. Drop the dragons towards the outside, take out the outer buildings. Then speed up a little bit more. Then drop more dragons. Or preferably drop four more dragons um to get the buildings right outside. Then let's see. Then drop your rage spell once the clan castle troops come out and they're near the air defenses. 
Then at that same time around when you drop your first rage spell and all your um once you drop all your your first rage spell and your dragons drop your balloons and your king, then once once the uh, clan castle troops are coming out and they can damage your troops, I'd recommend dropping a heal spell when they're near the air defense and with the clan castle troops. Um, then let the raid move on a little bit. Do not panic. They should start to go towards the middle and destroy the entire base. And speed up. Then, here you have a choice. You can either rage on the town hall, but if you have balloons left and you know they can take out that last air defense, rage the balloons. Because that was a super key point in this entire raid. If I did not rage those balloons, I would not. the balloons would not have gotten to the air defense, maybe, and that would have been bad. So here we go. But if there was a um, air defense for that wizard towers, I'd recommend raging on the town hall and let the dragons right there destroy that. But I'd rage the loons in this point. And so now, uh, you want to rage the king when he's either facing the enemy king, but if the enemy king's already dead, rage him when he's either on a wall, because he can't do anything on a wall, then he's a wall breaker, or rage him when he's at low health, like I did. So let's speed up the rest of this raid, and that should uh, sweep out the rest of the space. And I didn't attack an amazing target, but this goes for pretty much any base you really want to go for. Um, and, yeah, so, I'm going to uh, tell you one quick little tip at the end, once we're all finished. So, there we go, there's a three star. Uh, so, this is a good type of base to attack. Meaning that, here's, here, here's, do not attack a base where there's tons of structures just around the entire base. That would be so pesky to dragons. They would, they would literally just go around the base, those buildings would lure it around the base, not towards the center. Make sure you can get your dragons towards the center. But yeah, that's how you attack with dragons, and I hope you enjoyed Series 2 and how to attack Series. So yeah, this is Niamba Gaming, and see you in the next YouTube video.